Hello everyone, let's discuss about the topic, Equations of Motion in this video. Equations of Motion, are the sets of equations, that describes the relationship between, various parameters, in motion. Those parameters are, velocity, acceleration, displacement, and, time. Let's recall these parameters, before we understand the equations of motion. Now, let's discuss about velocity. Velocity is defined as, distance traveled by the body, in a given interval of time, in a specified direction. Velocity is a vector quantity, as it has both magnitude, and direction. Velocity is expressed as, displacement, divided by, the time taken to cover it. Velocity is expressed in SI system as, meter per second. While, in CGS system, it is expressed as, centimeter per second. Acceleration is defined as, the rate of change of velocity. Or, change in velocity, divided by, time taken for that change. Acceleration is a vector quantity, because it has both magnitude, and direction. Acceleration is expressed as, change in velocity, divided by, time taken for that change. In simple, A, is equal to, V minus U, divided by, T. In SI system, acceleration is expressed as, meter per second square. Whereas, in CGS system, it is expressed as, centimeter per second square. Now let's discuss about, terms related to equations of motion. The following SUVAT terms are used while deriving the equations of motion. There are, distance traveled by the body, represented by, S. Initial velocity of the body, represented by, U. Final velocity of the body, represented by, V. Acceleration of the body, represented by, A. And, time taken by the body, represented by, T. Now let's talk about, three equations of motion. For the bodies moving with uniform acceleration, we can obtain three equations of motion. They are V is equal to U plus A into T is called first equation of motion. S is equal to UT plus half A into T square is called as second equation of motion. V square minus U square is equal to 2S is called as third equation of motion. Now let's derive the expression for first equation of motion, that is, V is equal to U plus A into T. Consider, a body moving with linear motion, with an initial velocity U. The body accelerates uniformly, and in time T, it acquires the final velocity V. Then, AB is a straight line, obtained by plotting these values, in velocity time graph as shown. It is evident from the graph that, initial velocity, at T equal to zero, is, OA equal to U. Final velocity, at time t equal to od, is, oc equal to, v. But acceleration, a is equal to, slope of the line ab. Where, a is equal to, eb, by ae, which is equal to, ac, by od, which is equal to, oc minus oa, by od. By substituting the values of, oc, oa, and od in the above equation, we get, a is equal to, v minus u by t. That implies, A into T, is equal to, V minus U. By sending, U, to the other end, we get, V is equal to, U plus A T. This equation is called as, first equation of motion. Let's now derive the expression for second equation of motion, which is S equal to, U T plus half a T square. We know that, distance traveled, is equal to, average velocity, into time. But, Average velocity is equal to, initial velocity plus final velocity by 2. That implies, distance traveled, is equal to, initial velocity plus final velocity by 2, into time. That implies, S, is equal to, U plus V by 2, into T, let it be equation A. But, we know that, V is equal to, U plus A T, let it be equation B. By substituting equation, B, in equation, a, we get S equal to U plus U plus AT by 2 into T. 
Therefore, s equal to, 2u plus a t, by 2, into t. Therefore, s equal to, 2u by 2, plus a t by 2, into t. Therefore, s equal to, u plus a t by 2, into t. Therefore, by simplifying the expression, we get, s equal to, u t plus half a t square. This equation is called as second equation of motion. Now let's derive the expression for, third equation of motion, that is, v square minus u square is equal to 2 as. Consider first equation of motion, v, is equal to, u plus a t. Squaring on both sides, of above equation, we get, v square is equal to, u plus a t, whole square. That is, v square is equal to u square plus, a t, whole square, plus 2 u a t. That is, v square minus u square, is equal to, a square d square, plus 2 u a t. By taking 2 a, as common, on right hand side term, we get, v square minus u square, is equal to, 2 a into, u t plus half a t square, let it be equation c. But, from second equation of motion, s is equal to, u t plus half a t square, let it be equation d. Substituting equation, d, in, c, we get, v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s. This equation is called as, third equation of motion. Now let's discuss about, the special cases related to, equations of motion. Case 1, when a body starts from rest, initial velocity is 0 that is, u equals 0, then three equations of motion will take the form of v, is equal to, a t, s, is equal to, half a t square, v square, is equal to, 2 a s. Case 2, if the body is moving with uniform retardation, a, will be negative, then the three equations of motion take the form of v, is equal to, u minus a t, s is equal to, u t minus half a t square, v square, is equal to, u square minus 2 a s. Thanks for watching this video.